Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can format your resource usage view or your task usage view. The same principles will apply so that it's a bit more easy to see what's going on. So first off, let's get into the resource tab and drop the list down on Team Planner, resource usage. So what I want to do first of all is format this side, the table side. To do that, you go to resource usage format. First thing that I've done in textiles is I've increased the font to 14. So this makes this a little bit bigger. So if I just do that and make it bigger still, you can see what that does. I've done a video on this just recently. So that makes that even bigger. And then you can also do it on this side as well. But let's have a look at formatting other things. So in text styles, you can select certain things from the top there. So allocated resources is what I want to do. And I want the background color to be a light green color. Let's have a look at that one. So that's made that nice and easy to see the individual people resources. Now the task that they're on at the moment is just white, but you can format that as well if you want to do so you go back into this you go assignment row that would be and then you pick a color that's not too in your face go for a yellowish color okay to that and then that formats that now if you want the lines or the grid lines you've got this option as well so you've got lots of options in here you've got sheet rows so let's have a look at that one at the moment they're gray Let's make them black. Let's see what that does. So that's just made that a bit more prominent. I quite like that. So I'm happy with this side. This side is standing out to me. I've changed the font size, made it a bit bigger, and I've colored it in. This side, so what I've got displayed at the moment, if I just right click, I've got work, actual work, and remaining availability highlighted. So if I go into detail styles on this side, those fields are selected in this side you've got other fields you can bring across as well obviously you can see that but there's the color options i'm going for remain availability let's go for a what can we go for a little light blue color and then click ok to that and then that flags that up remaining availability is standing out so then you've got actual work and work so back into it so I'll go for actual work First, actual work. Now there is no actual work highlighted, I don't think, or completed. It's down as grey at the moment, but let's make that sort of green. Stands out a bit better. And then we've got um, work, which is basically planned work. If I just do that, I don't want to lose the plot by filling all these in. Work is already selected. And then if I drop this little arrow down, I'll pick a different colour, go for that yellowish colour. OK, and then that colors that in. It just makes it stand out a little bit more. And if I just go one more time back in there, like I've already said, you've got different things that you can set on this usage properties. So you can align the text, display details. And then this is the side where you are changing different bits and bobs. So at the moment, the font, for example, is on 11. I'll put that side to 16. If I change this side to 16, it might go a bit too big, but if I click on it and then OK, 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 I'm quite liking that. So if you've got a big monitor, that sort of stands out really, really clearly um, for people. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can format either the resource usage or the task usage sheet. And you can do the similar sort of things in the Gantt chart tables as well. But that's all for this one. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.